I'm Traveling John, and I'm going to travel and sketch. Join me on the adventure. This is a continuation of our travel and sketch adventures in Europe. We just finished visiting Butzbach, Germany, and now we're going on to Sweden to visit Stockholm. So it's early morning now in Gamelstan. Gamelstan is a old town area of Stockholm. It's like an island. It's a wonderful place to explore. And we're just starting off now. And uh, as you can see, there's nobody in the streets. It's around 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we woke up a little excited to explore. And so this is the beginning of the adventure here in Sweden and uh, I'm gonna look for a nice thing to sketch. I'm sure I'll find it. And that'll be, uh, oh, and of course I'm gonna share some pictures I've taken of this area with you. And in fact, we were here uh, almost, not quite 20 years ago. So I'm gonna in include some of those photographs with the ones that I'm showing you that are new of this area. So that's coming up. We're here just outside of the main city of Stockholm at Carl Mills, actually it's Mills Garden, but it's a lot of the sculpture work and Carl Mills home. And this is just some of his sculpture work that we're enjoying. And I wanted to share this video because it's a beautiful water garden and uh, it's, it's just a great experience to get away from the city and all of its uh, happening today because there actually is a race going on and uh, a lot of the streets are closed off so we're just enjoying the peaceful garden here and a wonderful setting and the sculpture work of Carl's. It was great to visit Stockholm once more and to visit the old portion called Gamlestan, that island of all the enchanted old historic buildings, cobblestone streets and um, we didn't spend all of our time there, as you noticed in the video. We went away for a short visit to Carl Mills and to see his sculpture. The last time I saw that sculpture was almost 50 years ago. And at that time, I didn't have a chance to really spend any time there. I had to go and I had to rush in another direction. 
But once again, I wanted to go back. It took me almost 50 years to get there, but it was well worth it because I learned so much more. Uh, we spent all, quite a few hours there, almost at least half a day. And uh, I learned something very interesting, and that is that both Carl uh, his wife and also his sister were very accomplished artists. So not only Carl's work is exhibited there, but also his sister's and his wife's work. And uh, so you can not only see, uh, you, it's, it's like a museum, and not only that, there's a portion of the museum that shows other artists' work. So if you're in the Stockholm area, go to see that uh, museum and home of Carl Mills. Now in the former vlogs, I normally did it in two parts. First, uh, the black and white, and then the color. In this case, I'm combining it into one, and I'm gonna use a little bit different technique because I have a vision for how I want to portray Carl Mill's sculpture pieces and some of my favorite. So you're gonna see me do something a little bit different, but I hope you enjoy the process. This is one of the amazing pieces of sculpture um, by Carl Mills, uh, the flying horse and the flying man. I'm gonna start off showing you some of these inspirational uh, pieces of sculpture in the garden area. And the next one is the angels, very close to one another in a sense. And then uh, the hand of God. These last two I'm going to concentrate on uh, for my piece of artwork on the computer. That's the size I'm working in, just so you see. And uh, I want to show you photographs I took of these pieces of art. Uh, it was a very cloudy day, so I had to uh, really uh, increase the uh, uh, contrast uh, of the photographs, and that made them a little grainy. That's uh, pretty much the ones I'm gonna be doing. But I have to change the composition because they're too far apart from one another. So I adjusted sizes and placements a little bit. And of course, the hand of God, I had to bring that forward to give it a better proportion. And uh, that's my composition. Now I'm gonna start on the artwork, the line art I got on that layer. I'm going to come up closer to the sculpture piece called The Hand of God and start with that piece. Again, it's a little grainy because uh, of my picture. I'm really increasing the size and uh, of course, again, the contrast was changed a lot so I could see it better. It was a cloudy day. So now I'm using vector artwork created a path and uh, I'm going to start down by the neck and this uh, created very much uh, like the work in an Adobe Illustrator and I drag my points a little bit to create the curves that I want in this I'm change that a little bit now I'm speeding it up because otherwise this takes a long time to do. And, uh, but I want a nice clean job on this and that's why I'm using vector art. And emphasizing certain aspects of the sculpture a little bit more than the photograph shows uh, for the sake of it being a good piece of artwork when I do the illustration. I'm going to, even in the hand, I'm going to accentuate the fingers a little bit so it shows up better. And the space between the fingers. Again, I'm accentuating certain areas. for the sake of the composition. There I go back into the fingers, making them a little bit longer. And I'm done with doing the man. 
I'm going to fill that area in with black so you can see what it looks like. I'll do it slower later so you can see closer. I, I'm putting a little space between that foot and the finger. And I'm going to do the same thing on this finger, between these two fingers. I'm going to uh, extension, uh, give a little space, white space to them so that they show up better. Again, I accentuated that. See, I made that a little bit deeper because I took off a little bit of the finger up above. And I'm pretty much done with the man. And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. There we go. Now, I'm gonna continue, or I did continue doing the angels with the stands there on. So there's the finished silhouette composition. I finished doing the silhouette artwork of Carl Mills uh, sculpture pieces and I'd like to show you the next step that I'm going to be going into. This uh, again is a um, picture or a reduced down image of the sculpture pieces and what you see now is that I put some circles around uh, the artwork and the reason for that is I want to give the impression of music and uh, kinetics, things going on in this uh, uh, sculpture pieces that you don't actually see with your eyes, but I think Carl Mills gave the impression with the angels having musical instruments that this is gonna be a very active, um, not only piece of sculpture work, but piece of art. So that's the impression I wanna give with this artwork that I'm doing. And uh, so the next step is to take this and make the background. And I want to again make the background with that impressionistic feeling. So what I've done is I've taken that and I made overhead transparency of it that you see here. And this is again on overhead. I'm just putting white paper behind it so you can see it. And my stretched watercolor paper is going to be on a light table. So I can see this through the watercolor paper as I'm doing the watercolor on top of it on the watercolor paper. And in this case, I'm going to be using watercolor pencil uh, to increase the feeling of impressionism. And I'm going to be uh, giving a, a, after I finish doing my ink, my excuse me, watercolor line work. Then I'm gonna spray it with a little water just to blur it a little bit. And then you'll see me applying it in the computer with that silhouette work that I just finished. So now I'm starting the application of color. Oh, and by the way, I didn't mention it, but um, I stretched the watercolor paper on a piece of plywood and I've cut out a portion of that inner piece of plywood uh, so that I can actually have a light going through it and uh, have a piece of glass behind the overhead transparency which uh, works out really well with regards to doing this kind of artwork. And um, after I finish doing the artwork, in some cases when it's a free-flowing watercolor, I can watercolor right there on it and get the effect I want. Uh, in other cases, um, like this, I'm doing colored pencil. I'm not going to use a lot of water, but enough to blur it a little bit. I'm using a lot of blue uh, in certain areas of this. After all, it's a blue sky in the background, or at least uh, towards sunset. And, uh, but I want each angel to have a little bit of a different color application because they're playing different musical instruments. So I want to sort of play with that uh, thought and that idea too. I got uh, uh, the sun rays sort of emphasizing the creation work and also the sunset. Uh, again, the, the first time I saw this it was at a sunset and it just inspired me in this way. So of course I'm going really fast. This is a uh, speeded up work. And I'm not using straight lines, uh, primarily because uh, 
I, I want to give that effect of vibrations and I really think the dotted line works out better in that regard than just straight lines. Putting a little green at the bottom just to give the effect of earth. Much done, almost there. Next step will be just to douse it with a little bit of water. We're uh, back to the screen now on the computer, and this is again the silhouette artwork I did of Carl Miller's sculptures just outside the main city of Stockholm. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is incorporate the uh, color that you just saw me finish doing as a background image. And here is uh, the artwork that I did. <clears throat> and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna manipulate it so both the silhouette sculpture pieces and the background artwork is the way I want it. The first thing I did is I want to intensify the color. It looks nice, but so what I did is I took um, the uh, color artwork and I duplicated it. And in this case, there we go. And uh, what I'm gonna do after I duplicate it is I'm gonna set it for multiply mode. Okay, but I'm gonna do something even more than that. I am going to blur that uh, artwork a lot. Uh, so, filter, and I'm going to use a blur gallery. Uh, excuse me, uh, I'm gonna use blur and Gaussian, Gaussian blur to get it where I want it to. And watch how far up I go, extreme. Okay, now uh, the next thing I'm going to do is if I take that off, you can see a little bit of what I did. It's hard to see unless I take the, the original layer off and you can see it's very light, but it's all blurred. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate, duplicate that layer again. Okay, it's getting darker and I'm going to duplicate it again. It's getting more intense. And I'm going to merge down those layers that I duplicated, um, that are blurred. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to, now you can see um, that it's not on multiply mode, but once I do that, you get more of the idea of the effect. Now I, I'm playing around with intensifying the color and lightening it, so I could do that, let me see. So I, what I could do is I could take the saturation, I could increase that like that, and I can lighten it until I get exactly the kind of effect that I want. See how I'm adding color there? Okay, now, that's not the one I used. The one I actually used after I played with it is this one here. And I did all sorts of things with it to get it where I wanted it. And again, that's on normal and it should be on multiply. So you can see the finished effect that I was happy with. Now the next thing I did is the silhouettes are nice in themselves, but I, I I want them to go along with the sort of the feeling of uh, movement. Uh, of course, the angels look like they're dancing and playing the music, and that's one of the reasons I did these circles around them is the, uh, to get the idea of the sound waves going out from the music and the excitement uh, of this. 
So uh, what I decided to do is incorporate that move movement into the sculpture pieces itself. So I went up to the, the ink line work right up there and I selected the whole thing and I nudged it a little bit so oh first of all I have to have it on this I nudged it just a little bit with the arrow tool so I grabbed it <clears throat> and then I went down here and uh, to that blur. I'm gonna get rid of this one, which was just a demonstration. Otherwise, I'll get confused. Uh, I grabbed just the color, not, not, the, oh, excuse me. I did grab the whole thing. And I took off the sculpture pieces. So now what I'm doing is I'm copying these two layers. So, I'm going to say copy merge those two layers. Then I'm going to leave that off. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to put down edit, okay. paste, and I'm going to do it. paste in place. Okay, so now you don't see it, but it's there. I'm going to call this the color silhouette. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with that. And um, first of all, I can, oops, I'm going to hit it on multiply mode so you can see where it's at. And I'm going to select it. Okay, so now you can see all little dots running around, that's the actual sculpture pieces. And I'm, I'm going to make those pop out the background, but I want them again to blend with the, uh, the character of the background. So it's more or less an impression of Carl Miller's sculpture pieces as if they were to come alive with the music and the intensity of, uh, the, and the dynamics of that uh, beautiful piece. So I'm gonna choose a blue here. That should work pretty good. I'm gonna go just a slight bit darker. And I'm gonna use, uh, and I'm again on this color silhouette, I'm gonna use the brush tool just to add a little color to that area because there's so much white that it might get lost. So I'm gonna raise the size of the brush. That's better. And I'm gonna do the same with these. First of all, I wanna go down in size a little bit. And that's the size I want. Now I wanna pick up a color uh, from the artwork itself. I'm gonna go right in here. And I'm going to go just a little bit darker again. Okay, that's good. Go back to the brush tool. It's a little bit. And I'm gonna go a little bit lighter with this one. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same with these after I choose a color that is a appropriate orientation. Why well, is interesting? I got so much red in that. That's good. Except I want it just a little bit darker. Yeah, actually, I'm going to make it a little bit more orangey by sliding this down. I'm going to go right in here. Yeah, that looks that looks like that'll hopefully make me happy. Go back to the brush tool. Okay, now I'm going to deselect that and I'm going to choose a whole silhouette and I'm going to go image, adjust, 
hue and saturation and I go a little darker with the whole thing. Okay, so this is sort of the, this is the impression I want to give with regards to the color, uh, Carl Miller's sculpture pieces. Uh, it's, it's an impressionistic uh, impression I have of it. They were beautiful sculptures. I enjoyed it so much. My first visit back in, oh my goodness, it was 1975 or four. It was the last, uh, it was the last part of the last day I spent in Europe. And I looked at these sculpture pieces as the sun was setting. And this last time I was there too, it was sort of a little bit cloudy. So it was very much of a silhouette. And I just love them. I just really love them. And it was great to see them again. So this is the impression I grabbed from that. And that's pretty much a finished art, unless I touch it up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed watching that demonstration of me creating the artwork. And it's a little bit different way of doing things, but I enjoy uh, doing that and sort of encourages the creative juices to flow, which is always a good thing. And here's a viewing, uh, full size of the artwork uh, without the computer software tools going around it. Once again, I would encourage you to go visit my website at travelandsketch.com. There you can go to my art gallery and see some of the other artwork that I've done. And I would really appreciate it if you commented once in a while, maybe uh, on my website or even right below on YouTube. You can put a little comment there and I'd love to hear from you and see what you think about what I'm doing. And uh, lastly, please subscribe to this uh, YouTube uh, video or channel. That way you'll be notified of the next time I do a travel and sketch adventure. Thanks for joining me on this travel and sketch adventure and I look forward to seeing you next time and have a great day.